Dr. Tanmay Vishwas, I welcome you all in my channel Climate and Chemistry. Today's topic of discussion is application of methanol as both chemical and fuel. But first, MCQ. Which metal center used in catalytic process like Monsanto acetic acid process? And in this case, four options are provided. Please write your answer in the comment box and definitely at the end of the discussion, I shall give you the right answer. Methanol, like other alcohol, is simply alcohol. So it shows hydrogen bonding, it doxies and by using lone pair can act as a base, it can participate in ester formation, ether preparation, oxidation, it's it's very common. Not only that, this methyl group can act as energy production. And this is actually the carbon one feedstock like carbon dioxide. So it's a very important chemical. Now methanol is a solvent and reagent because of its multiple property. It has a similar property like ethanol, water because methanol structure CH3OH, this OH has a similar property like water and this methyl group have a similar property like ethanol which have ethyl group that is C2H5. It is polar protic solvent miscible in both aqueous and organic solvent and it can act as an antifreeze material and by the way there is a very famous antifreezing material that is ethylene glycol. I have already made a dedicated lecture. Additionally, it methanol could be used for the preparation of acetic acid, methylamine, methyl halide, methyl ether, biodiesel production and remember this methyl iodide is a liquid compound that's why for substitution reaction or SN2 type reaction you see methyl iodide is used and that's why it's a very famous methylating agent. Now another interesting use of methanol is methanol to olefin conversion. Why? Because this olefin are very important chemical in chemical industry and right now they are produced from petroleum, more specifically petroleum cracking. But we are trying to come out from fossil fuel based energy production cycle consequently we are trying to find alternate sources for our chemical production and that's why this methanol to olefin transformation is very important and the dalian institute of chemical physics has developed methanol to olefin technology that lead to the successful construction and operation of world's first coal to olefin plant why coal means carbon and that could be converted into methanol so in this case, it's very important for India also such technology because the country means India is deficient of petroleum, but it has a huge reserve of coal. So using this technology, it can produce methanol. The country which do not have coal, which do not have petroleum, they can also utilize this technology. Because of our activities, we have added huge amount of carbon, mono, carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And recently the world leaders have met in Glasgow about COP26 meeting. They declared in that meeting that they will reduce their carbon dioxide emission and ultimately they will reach net zero. For example, Prime Minister Narendra Modi from India have declared that India will reach to the net zero status in 2070. That is very important for our climate security. But till now, we are producing our energy, mainly electricity, from coal, which is actually dirty fuel. Such kind of extensive fossil fuel burning is responsible for global warming and climate change. More specifically, the excess carbon dioxide into the atmosphere which is added due to human activity is responsible for this global warming and climate change. So we need to separate this excess CO2 from the atmosphere. But current picture says that the alternate energy production cycle are not that much well established. Consequently, up to near future also, we shall emit huge amount of carbon dioxide. So it is our duty to separate the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and plants are the best option. Additionally, scientists have developed strategies to separate carbon dioxide from atmosphere, but that is not cost effective. I have already discussed in a dedicated lecture. But in future, when the electricity will be cheap and from renewable sources, this technology will be used worldwide. And that time we shall be able to separate huge amount of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere with a significant higher purity. And this carbon dioxide could be reduced first into carbon monoxide and then methanol. I have already de discussed in a dedicated lecture about carbon dioxide to methanol formation. So from that thing you can understand carbon source or C1 source is carbon dioxide from air. We are producing everything chemical from this carbon dioxide based chain. So that's why this is a future, future chemical production strategy 
and this is a very important for non fossil fuel based carbon production cycle establishment. So that is why this technology is very important and by the way for this chemical transformation there is methanol to olefin a special type of catalyst needed those are called zeolites. These zeolites are nothing but microporous aluminosilicate material which are used as heterogeneous catalyst and they are mainly or better to say commercially used as chemical adsorbent catalyst for various chemical transformation and one very famous example is petroleum cracking means in oil refinery they used huge amount okay that is that importance of zeolite based catalyst now question second ap application of methanol is that is fuel and we have observed that methanol is highly flammable fuel question why this is because methanol burns and produces the end products that is carbon dioxide and water they are very stable consequently for this chemical transformation huge amount of energy is released and that makes this process spontaneous by the way which part is responsible if you go little deeper for energy release see if you look at the end product water and methanol this part not produces any oxygen energy because it's stable this methyl group is responsible for energy production how if you look little closely the hydrogen is in minus one oxidation state for methyl group but in case of this water it is plus one oxidation state so this overall oxidation happens by the oxidant that is atmospheric oxygen consequently this energy is released and not only that oxygen is in zero oxidation state which is converted into minus two oxidation state in water so that's another reason for this release of huge amount of energy and that's why european fuel quality directive allows the fuel producer to blend up to three percent methanol in the internal combustion engine fuel not only that methanol has a higher octane rating there is 114 it's a very important fuel because octane rating high is important for a good fuel quality and in India Niti Aayog, which is the planning commission on August 3, 2018 announced that passenger vehicle will run on 15 percent methanol mixed fuel. So that is an another boost for industry which will produce methanol and that could be used in our transport sector. But this methanol is also not beyond of criticism compared to petroleum or coal fuel. Why? because methanol is liquid like petroleum it's true boiling point is 64 point something you may consider near about 65 degrees centigrade it ignites efficiently in colder condition compared to gasoline and it doesn't produce any carbon particle or shoot in the output chamber like petrol which create air pollution that's why this is a very good fuel uh, in the cities like delhi bangalore which are actually lock cities means you may consider it's a landlock means closer to this city there are no ocean Consequently, its air quality is poor and that is why proper replacement of fuel is essential and in this case methanol is one of the best option but it has a bad side also. This is very toxic unlike ethanol means ethanol is not that much toxic but methanol is very toxic. Sometimes people, people heard that some this many people have died because of the consumption of local liquor. Did they die for ethanol? No, they died for methanol present in the ethanol as impurity and that's that's why you can understand how much lethal it is. So it is a good fuel. We must be responsible before utilizing it such that we can enjoy the benefit of this fuel, not the bad effect. Now, so question is can it provide the world energy? Can methanol be alternative for petroleum deficient countries? Obviously, yes two option if the country has huge amount of coal then coal could be converted into methanol how first coal is heated to make coke because coal contain lots of moisture and other chemical entity inside it and during the heating process the carbon percentage on the coal increases and it converted into coke and this coke subsequently converted or control burn to produce carbon monoxide and this carbon monoxide reacts with hydrogen gas and produces this methanol in presence of the zinc oxide aluminium oxide catalyst mixture at this higher pressure and high temperature by the way if you look at little closely these uh, two fuels are gas means carbon di carbon monoxide and hydrogen are gas whereas this methanol is liquid so increasing the pressure of the reaction system favors the liquid 
material or product formation because of last atelier principle so from this thing we can say that country rich in coal can utilize this strategy and produce methanol and produce energy by the way what is the benefit direct burning of coal create lots of air pollution that's the thing we shall handle okay still all the countries are trying to come up a carbon neutral process or net zero process it is better that country should avoid fossil fuel based technology if some alternate are available like carbon dioxide to methanol like carbon dioxide could be reduced to carbon monoxide by either photochemically electrochemically or photoelectrochemically to carbon monoxide and by the way this process is feasible when our electricity source is renewable so that's the important and in this case the whole world is talking against this coal and they considered it is a dirty fuel because right now also the majority of electricity worldwide near about 36 percent coming from coal that's a very sad thing so this carbon dioxide could be reduced to carbon monoxide and then it will be reduced to methanol i have already made a dedicated lecture or carbon dioxide could directly be reduced by hydrogen but in this case hydrogen should be produced from renewable sources that's me or you can consider we need a green hydrogen by the way we have already discussed a dedicated lecture on the hydrogen production also you may visit green hydrogens are produced by electrolysis of water and it produces hydrogen along with oxygen and the electricity used for this process is produced from renewable sources so methanol could be used directly it could be burned or it could be used inside a methanol fuel cell means it's a control burning you can consider and it is applied inside the car alternate and it is the alternate of battery based car because we should not be dependent on a particular technology we should have options in multi-directional in this case fuel cell is the another option and fuel cell is an electrochemical cell that utilizes the chemical means that converted the chemical energy of a molecule into electrical energy and you can say in this way the electricity could be generated from methanol and what is the output product obviously carbon dioxide so methanol burn in terms of oxygen and produce carbon dioxide and in this process it produces electricity that is responsible for running the car in this picture you can see one car which runs in methanol based fuel cell or methanol as a fuel using the fuel cell technology and this is very interesting because it is pollution free as i told it could be very much useful for our cities like delhi bangalore which suffers huge amount of air pollution which is responsible for the lungs related disease now in conclusion it's a very important solvent both polar and aprotic it could be used as starting material for important chemical like acetic acid formaldehyde etc it could be used as fuel in both internal combustion engine and fuel cell and it is a promising alternate for oil deficit countries as transport fuel and uh, our country india should also focus on this fuel thing such that its import dependency on fossil fuel should be reduced and we can save huge amount of foreign reserves now the mcq which metal center is used as catalytic center in monsanto process for acetic acid generation the answer is iridium it's a very costly metal and very versatile unique metal now the process is described in front of you this is the catalyst structure first methanol is reacted with hi and which is produces the ch3i and water this ch3i added to the iridium one center through oxidative addition then carbon monoxide got added to the iridium center and subsequent step is for carbon monoxide insertion into carbon methyl bond and later on this this acetyl iodide is released which reacted with the water produced for methanol to methyl iodide conversion and in this case hi also regenerate so water and hi regenerates and reutilize and so in can in and this yeah, acetic acid is produced so in summary we can say that this in between this methanol molecule that is ch3oh the carbon monoxide group introduces you can see here and produces the acetic acid thing which is a very use industrially highly useful chemical and the overall process is catalytic that's why industry can handle this because iridium is a very costly metal so thanks for watching be happy and enjoy the study see you in my next video bye bye